Are you enduring something that you shouldn't be enduring? You're probably telling yourself, it's good enough. I don't have another option. What doesn't kill you make you stronger. No pain, no gain. It is what it is. All these sayings have one thing in common. They, they help you to release resistance to a situation where you feel helpless to get out of. Releasing resistance to it is a great thing. So where's the harm in saying these things? The harm is that they can serve as a justification for not actively making changes as to move beyond this painful situation. They can serve to keep us stuck in pain. And we know the danger of escapism. We know the pain of being around a fair weather friend. We feel the frustration. Many of us have a fairly good grasp at this point about the fact that running away from pain and from things that scare us is not the way to create a fulfilling life. But we need to be aware that there's danger at the other side of the scale as well. There's danger in becoming attached to pain, unwilling to leave it. And this is endurism. Endurism is equally as unhealthy as escapism. It's a coping strategy. It's a coping strategy for dealing with the perception that you're helpless to get your knees met. It's a coping strategy that ensures that you'll spend your life coping with a painful life instead of creating a life that you enjoy. And somehow we believe there's serious virtue in suffering. We stay in situations and perpetuate situations that are causing us pain so we can feel like we're good and doing what's right. And in endurism, we are in fact escaping something and that something is the fear of making a change and the responsibility to actually make the change, the responsibility required. Our ego fears that by making the change that will enable us to progress and reach our joy, we will become a bad person and therefore lose connection with the people and things that we want to be connected to. In relationships, we develop the idea that if someone loves us, they will endure any amount of pain to be with us. So be aware that when you look at endurism, you might become very defensive and you might find all kinds of reasons why it's important to perpetuate this painful situation. But reasonability is the enemy of progress. You have plenty of incredibly valid reasons to justify your endurism. No one's trying to convince you that your reasons are not valid. But valid reasons aren't good enough to justify living a miserable life. In this situation, you're, you're on a boat, you don't like the boat, so you desire a different boat. It comes, but still, you won't get off your old boat. And there's lots of reasons, really good reasons, for not getting off the old boat. So the universe says, oh, I'll make it easier for them, I'll just poke holes in the boat. When the boat starts sinking, and spring leaks, instead of jumping in a new boat, you just run around trying to patch up the holes, and eventually... The only way you can get into the new boat is when it quite literally sinks, the old one. So then you end up in the water with the choice to drown or get on a new boat. So become acutely aware of the situation. The things that you think you have to endure, think about the excuses that you make so as to justify endurance in this situation. And look at ways that you can actually do have a choice in the situation that you're stuck in. Look at things that you could actually do to make a change, however small.